All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, a feature of Bright that is something that you guys can seriously benefit from, especially students who are appearing for the July-August series. And in the last video, I showed you guys how you can sign up on Bright. In this video, I'm gonna be a bit more specific and show you guys one really cool feature of Bright that you may not be aware of. Or, and if you haven't signed up yet, I'd suggest that you go check out the last video. And in that, I've given a detailed process of how to sign up. So what, what I'm gonna talk about today is uh, the detailed possible solutions that we have. So again, let's go to courses and let me show you, let's, let's go over to accounting. And before, before you can access these uh, possible solutions, make sure that you enroll yourself. Okay, so what, I, what I'd like to show you is uh, in accounting, since we have MCQs, so let's say we go over to uh, October, November. Oh, hey, let's open up any paper. Okay, so you have the question paper, you have the detailed solution, and you have the marking scheme. Okay, we all know what the question paper and the marking scheme looks like. So let's just open up a detailed solution. So let's wait for this to open up. So this, as you know, is paper one. So you can see here that this is a step-by-step -step guide and uh, you can see why out of the four, the three answers are incorrect. With the incorrect answer, there's a logical reason as to why it's incorrect. And with the correct answer, again, there's a logical reason as to why that particular answer is correct. So this is something that you don't generally see. In fact, you don't see in the marking scheme at all. And, uh, but here, our team has taken out the time to prepare these solutions for you guys especially. And this is something that students who are preparing for the July, August series, since you have MCQs for economics accounts and physics chemistry can benefit from, should in fact benefit from. And this will definitely something that this is definitely something that will come in handy. And now let's head over to math and see what the detailed possible solutions of math look like. So again, you'll have to go into courses. Let's select math. Let's start the course. Okay, so again, on the left, you'll have post papers. Let's go over to paper two. And since we have paper two, uh, which is gonna be tested of math in the July, August series. So let's let's open this up. Let's open up any paper. So again, here's the question paper, detailed solution marking scheme. So you, we both know what the marking scheme looks like. So with, with paper two, the marking scheme is not as detailed as some students would like. So here you will see all, all the things that you would like to see in a detailed solution. And if you're practicing possible on your own and there's a question in which you're unable to make out what exactly the marking scheme means or, or how exactly uh, you get to the final answer. So this is something that you can see in, in the marking scheme. You don't generally have cumulative frequency curves plotted. You don't have graphs plotted. So here let's head over to a question of graphs of functions. So here you'll see that you have, again, uh, if, uh, if if I were to see the marking scheme, it would just give you the points, all right? It won't, or in some cases, it doesn't even give you the points. It just, because it's normally for the teachers. So, you know, when, when the teachers are checking the answers or uh, for, for the examiners, in fact, so, you know, when, when they're checking the answer, they can see, or, you know, uh, they can use the marking scheme to check the question paper, but, for students, it's kind of difficult to read. So here we have a graphs of function question. So we, uh, the graph is drawn, the tangent is drawn. And again, we ha you have a step-by-step -step solution of every, every part. So here is an angle properties of circles question with similar triangles, similar incongruent triangles. So again, so you, you probably see what I'm, I mean, you probably get my point. You probably see why, uh, what, how this is different from the usual marking scheme. So again, it, it actually doesn't matter whether you're preparing for the July, August series or whether you're preparing for October, November. If you're studying, this is something, if you're, if you're an O-level math student, this is something that will definitely come in handy for you. So yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about. Hopefully in the next video, I'll pick out some other feature of Bright and talk to you guys about that. If you're already a Bright user, then why don't you guys let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite feature of Bright? So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. That's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.